Well, we've already discussed Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. Now it's time to discuss the other bear movie. Cocaine Bear, that is. Which is directed by Elizabeth Banks and is currently playing in theaters. Now, just in case anyone was wondering, this film is loosely based on a real event that happened back in the 80s where a plane piloted by a former narcotics officer turned convicted drug smuggler had cocaine on board and some fell out of the plane and a 175 pound bear consumed it and died. And this movie is based on that same year, which was actually 1985. And we get all the 80s nostalgia here, all right? So anyhow, the movie follows the same premise as there's, you know, bags of cocaine being thrown from an airplane and lands into this park called Blood Mountain. Big ass park. Pilot dies from faulty parachute. So now there's a few guys, which includes Ice Cube's son, the young Han Solo, and Ray Liotta. Rest in peace. They're headed to the park to pick up the bags. And to add to the story, you have a you have these 13-year-old kids who skip school to kick it at the same park, and they find themselves a bag of coke. Then you have the park ranger on site who's too busy trying to get laid. A mom also trying to get laid, but has to head to the park trying to find her 13-year-old kid. And, of course, you have the bear who consumes some of this newly found cocaine and is now hooked. Now, look, this movie overall, I'll, I'll, I'll admit it is pretty fun. By far the best scene, if you've seen the trailer, is the ambulance scene, dude. That entire sequence is gold. Gold. Dude, and especially the way it ends is fantastic. It's a classic scene. I mean it, though. People are going to howl at that scene, dude. I'm telling you right now. The thing is, I just wish there were... Ugh, I wish there were more of those types of scenes because it definitely would have been a cult classic movie if they had more of those. The movie, Like I said, the movie is fun, but the biggest issue is its tone. Seems it kind of just seems unsure if it wants to be like a horror comedy or a comedy with horror elements. But aside from the bear dude, the rest of the cast are just pretty boring, and I just want to see them all get worked by the bear, to be honest with you. And yes, the bear tore some fools up. It was hilarious watching the bear do coke, though, dude. It was feeding off that shit and chasing anyone who had some, even if it was just a small, tiny amount. This thing would pounce and get on that ass. And anyhow, though, I mean, I wish, like I said before, I wish they had more memorable parts similar to the ambulance scene because it was just so good. But don't get me wrong, though. I mean, I still enjoyed the other scenes. There's some good scenes for sure, but nothing hit as hard as that one, though. I mean, I figured if there was at least two more scenes like that, dude, oh, my God, this would have been a classic, dude. But one thing I will say I did enjoy, another thing I did enjoy, I should say, the, the old school 80s anti-drug commercials, man. You know, this is your brain and this is your brain on drugs. <laughs> Dude, that shit was hilarious. But um, yeah, regardless of regardless of all the stuff I'm saying, though, I mean, it's still a fun watch. I would actually watch it again. Definitely some pretty nasty death scenes and some comedy to balance things out. And I think this will actually help bring in the comedy parts. Will actually, I think, will bring in the casual person though, who doesn't watch much horror. You know, I think they'll enjoy it because of that comedy though. Good blend, you know. I'm really curious to see how this does at the box office. I really think word of mouth is gonna help this one for sure. I mean. The name of Cocaine Bear alone, I think, sells the movie, right? And plus, it's going to bring a lot of casual casual horror f fans, too. So I'm going to throw a number out there, I think, for my prediction for the box office. I think it's going to at least make $45 million. So we'll see. <laughs> After Once Sunday hits, we'll see how it does. But yeah, I'm, I'm going 45 But uh, anyhow, let's get into this, though. So is this movie better than Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey? The Battle of the Bears. Overall, I'm going to say, yeah. <laughs> for the kills um, and I mean entertainment wise and I mean I would actually watch it again because I like I said before my my review for Winnie the Pooh I wouldn't watch that one again I mean it was fine for what it was though but I wouldn't watch it again though recommendations hey I recommend you go out and see Cocaine Bear and Winnie the Pooh <laughs> anyhow that's all for today folks stay nasty my friends and I'll see you at the next one Shay Nasty out I'll see you soon like and, like, subscribe. and subscribe.